Welcome to the Valley Stream Management Foundation course from the Valley Stream Management Consortium. This is an introductory course that's going to be taking learners through a value stream management implementation journey. We're going to be covering human process and technology aspects of ways of working and exploring how optimizing value streams for flow and realization positively impacts organizational performance. The Value Stream Management Consortium is a member association for enterprises and individuals working with value stream management practices and platforms. We thank you learners for being members of the Value Stream Management Consortium. This is a benefit for all of our members. So we are very, very happy that you have chosen to participate. Our purpose is to advance value stream centric ways of working in technology teams to lead to those higher performing organizations. Our mission is to cultivate and nurture the emerging market for digital value stream management and to help the community learn, devise practices and standards and grow through their use. So the way we think about value stream management is through two lenses, flow and realization. When we're talking about flow, we're talking about the journey of work from idea to realization. It's travel should be friction free. Uh, it should be a continuous stream of value delivery to customers. So when we're looking at flow, what we want to understand is knowing how long it takes to deliver that value to customers, accelerating that value delivery, gaining insights about where waste and delay is, and collaborating end to end on the product life cycle as a value stream, as well as having data driven conversations by collecting metrics and having traceability through the DevOps tool chain as well. With realization, we're completing that conversation about time to value and then talking about your customer experience. So we're talking about how to estimate the value that your work is going to deliver and building a hypothesis to work out what you expect to happen and then understanding what actually did happen. You'll also want to be amplifying and shortening those feedback loops so that you can make better informed business decisions and maximize the profitability of your value stream. Some of the learning objectives that we're going to be delivering throughout the course are being able to describe the origins of value stream management and the key concepts such as flow, value, and delivery, what value stream management is, why it's needed, and the business benefits of the practice. We'll look at how lean, agile, DevOps, and ITSM practices and principles contribute to value stream management and identifying and describing value streams, where they start and end, how they interconnect. We'll look at value stream roles and responsibilities, as well as expressing value streams visually using ma mapping techniques and defining current and target states. We'll write value stream flow and realization optimization hypotheses and experiments for getting to better states and applying flow and realization metrics to value streams to measure them continuously. This is an AR eight module online course. In module one, we'll be looking at the history and evolution of value stream management. In module two, we'll be helping you understand how to identify value streams in your organization or the organizations that you work with. Module three is all about value stream mapping and module four is all about how to connect your DevOps tool chain to automate your value stream map. In module five, we're gonna zero in on those all important metrics you'll be wanting to work with. And in module six, we'll be looking at how to inspect your value stream. In module seven, we'll be talking about organizing around value streams and the cultural imperatives involved. And in module eight, we'll look at how to evolve those value streams. We'll be dropping the content for each module into each module's recording area as you go through the course. There'll also be a VAR or a value added resources document you'll be able to find at the start of the course, which will contain links that are included through every module of the course, as well as some additional materials that you may want to go through, including case stories. Um, over and above the case stories that will be included in every module, additional videos, although you will find at least one video in each module, and you'll also have a quiz in every module. Once you've completed the course, you can become cert certified. We will give you further information at the end of the course on how to achieve your certification. You'll need to go to the DevOps Institute and we will provide you with a discount code which you have earned as being a Value Stream Management Consortium member.
You'll receive your certification once you've successfully passed the exam. That means you'll have got 65% or more during the 60 minute online open book examination, which consists of 40 multiple choice questions. You'll also get a digital badge. As I said, that certification is governed and maintained by the Valley Stream Management Consortium and the DevOps Institute. You've completed the course introduction. We're looking forward to seeing you in the next section where you'll get to meet the instructors, myself and Steve.